Hello everyone, today I have another Lego minifigure review. I got some more Harry Potter minifigures right here from the series. If you want to check out my other video, you can click right up here. Links will be down below. These are the eight minifigures that I got last time. So let's see what I get for this time. I got a bunch more packs as you can see. So let's just slide it over. Open this one just so I can go a little quicker. And already I can tell it's a new minifig, for me at least, for the series. Let's get them all set up. Let's see, he's got a lot of parts actually. Um, put his head on. He comes with two hair pieces. That's kind of interesting. Unless it's the oh, it's the one guy. Okay, so let me get this open really quick. I'm gonna, I have his name list over here too. It's this minifigure right here, and his name is one of the professors, which is also if you've seen the movie, you know. Um, uh, his name is Mad Eye Moody, and he in the movie uh, for this character. I'll put his hair on in a second to show, but you can see, so this is the Mad-Eye Moody version. And this is what he looked like in the movie. You can see he's got the crazy eyeball going right there. And the scarring with it. I do like that face piece. You can use this for a lot of other minifigs. Uh, coming under the chest and torso, he's got the trench coat on or the over jacket with all the belts and buckles on it. And then on the inside, he has that undershirt or jacket with all more belt buckles and zippers which I really like this the torso piece is really nice coming out of the legs and waist you can see he's got the blue showing for his pants he's got his bad foot right here that's why the foot's all silver and it's a dual molded which is really nice and the trench coat does come down past the legs or to the legs at least no printing on the sides and then to the back is just the back of the jacket and how the um, Dual molded legs are with the blue and the um, silver for the messed up foot or boot foot. And the cool thing about this minifig is he has the changeable head for the guy who is playing as him if you've seen the Harry Potter movies. And you can see he's got, uh, I do like this face too. You can see he's got a beard, his tongue sticking out. It's kind of a crazy looked man. But I do like uh, the Mad-Eye Moody one better. So I'm going to turn that one on. And then, of course, he comes with his walking stick. He comes with um, the polyjuice potion, which is a, it's actually a maraca, which is funny. But you can have him hold it like this, so it's the polyjuice potion, which transforms him, I believe. Don't 100% quote me on that. And then, of course, he comes with his wands. So, good start. New minifig with some extra pieces. Let's get right on to the next one. Again, there's 22 in this series, and now I have 9, so I'm hoping to complete the series, and this one is a new minifig. I think this is Neville. Let's go up to his full name in the series. Yep, it's Neville Longbottom. This is the one where they're in the um, uh, plant class. I can't think of the name of the class. But again, the minifig is just called Neville Longbottom. Let's get him all... All dressed up. There we go. So you can see he's got hair piece, which is a new one with the um, earmuffs on for this, or they could be headphones, however you want to use them. You can see it's Neville. He's got the buck teeth right there, and <laughs> kind of like a, a dazed look or an uh look. Come on, do his chest and torso. You can see he's got they got the plant jackets on or the uh, t-shirt, long sleeve shirts, dress shirts. You can see collar. You can see he's got his um, tie on underneath for a Gryffindor little pocket right there. Cool thing about these ones is the legs now bend for kids, which I really like this designer. That use that Lego created, I've said that before. To the back of the minifig, just the back of the jacket, pretty simple, nothing on the back of the legs. And his head is dual sided for when the little monster starts screaming. We'll put him like this. So, a quick little minifig. He, of course, he comes with his wands. Give him that. <clears throat> They're a pain to take apart. I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do it later. Um, and then now his accessories, of course, is the little creature. And how do they go? Oh, they hold it. That's kind of weird. That's a weird design. <clears throat> so, to do how he holds the creature, you got to put some in his hand. If it focuses on it, there we go. You can see printed on it is the little creature's. 
And then when they pull them out, they were holding on to the, um, I think that's how you do it, right? Or, oh, no, no, it goes this way. Nope, so it, you, they do hold on to it. So it goes in the top, that's his face was upside down. So he's going to go like this, it's the little screaming plant things. And there you go. What are those called? Those there are called... Uh, <clears throat> doesn't even say... Oh, the mandrakes. The mandrake sprouts. So that's what that is. It's a mandrake. And then it also comes with the pot when he's pulling it out of it. <clears throat> so two new minifigs. I don't think I'll complete them all. I don't think I have enough for <clears throat> them all. Let's see... This one... Might be a new minifig. If it's not, I'm not going to build it. Oh, this one's Hermione, which I got her last time. She's right there. Get to the next one. Got to be careful when cutting these because some uh, minifigs have capes or gowns or anything like that. You don't want to cut them. Oh, this one's a new minifig. I believe, yes, this one's a new minifig. This one is uh, Dean Thomas. <clears throat> Get him all built. The little kid version as well. I believe it. Yep, it is Dean Thomas. Is it Dean Thomas? Yeah, the hair piece looks a little different on the, the cover, but that's okay. He does come with some accessories. He comes with a Gryffindor flag. So right here you can see Gryffindor. Only printed on one side. Then here's the minifig for Dean Thomas. You can see he's got a happy face. He's got some cheek uh, design there. His eyebrows are raised up. Single-sided head. You can see coming down to his chest and torso, he's got uh, his Gryffindor outfit on and his scarf. And then his gown or over kind of like cape. You can see it's tied up right there. He's got his little insignia right there. Underneath he has his long sleeve like sweater on. You can see right there is the Gryffindor colors. And then coming down to his waist and legs, you can see his scarf comes all the way down, and so does his like cape. Again, the legs are bendable because they're the little, the new little kid ones. Popped his hair off. Looking at the sides, there's no printing on this side or this one, but on the back, he's got the back of his scarf and his hood, and then some designs in the cape. Again, a pretty simple minifig but he comes with some cool accessories. Again, he comes with the wands. A lot of them are the dark wands, the dark brown. And the flag. So that's Dean Thomas. Doing good. We got three out of uh, four so far. Open this one up. I think this one's new. This one is new. Another new minifig. I think this is Draco Malfoy in the... Um, Yep, it's Draco, and he's in his, um, oh, oh god, what's it called? Um, they're going, I can't, I can't think of the name. I'm going to have a, oh, he's, he doesn't have the, that's weird. Um, his legs aren't bendable. They're just the standard little kid legs in white. That's kind of weird. Let's put his cape on. I can't think of the, the broomstick game. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm just having a brain fart. I can't think of it. Single-sided head. But it is a new design to Draco. Here he is. You can see he's got his blonde hair. And he's kind of got like that smug evil face going on. Because he's a pretty evil dude. And then coming down to his chest and torso. You can see he's got his Slytherin outfit on. You can see he's got it tied up down the center, which is nice, kind of a gold tint to it. You can see the Slytherin logo right there. That's all the printing on the front. Nothing on the legs. Again, it's not the bendable legs, and they are in white for the little kid ones. No printing on the sides. He does have brown gloves on. And the back of the minifig is just the back of his cape kind of outfit. So the hood right there, and then some accenting designs. And then he comes with the golden snitch. Which is kind of weird because he never grabbed it, I don't think. He also comes with a big green broom. So you can make it look like he's riding it. And he comes with his extra wands, of course. 
Uh, but again, let me let me know the game. I forgot what they Quidditch. It's Quidditch. No, don't even bother. I got it. It's Quidditch. That's what the name of it was. He's playing Quidditch. That's his, this is his Quidditch outfit. So that's Draco Malfoy, the Quidditch outfit. Doing good. Got plenty of new minifigs. And another Draco Malfoy one. Get that out. So there we go. That's another Draco. These minifigs come with a lot of accessories. Uh, this one I got last time. This is uh, Professor Flint Flitwick, Flintwick, I think. Right here, he's right. Uh, he's right there behind uh, Harry. Let's get another one. So four out of seven so far. Oh, this is a new one, and this one I really wanted to get. This one's a new one. You can see that's so one of the reason, reasons why. This is Harry Potter, and this is in his nightgown, I believe is what they called it. In his PJs. So it's the, the real name is um, Harry Potter with Invisibility Cloak. Because in the first movie, he gets the cloak. And this is... Just, look at that. It shows up really well. In person, it's even nicer. But that just looks amazing. It's the Invisibility Cloak. So you put it on him, and it covers him... Uh, full 360 except for his head and then when you flip it over it's the uh, back side of the um, cloak but of course you're gonna have to have this side showing because it just looks so nice it's probably one of the nicest capes or cloaks I've ever seen um, again he doesn't come with bendable legs I'll put his cloak on in a minute he is single-sided on his head comes with his wand um, but here is Harry uh, you can see right there he's got a scar, he's got the glasses, he's pretty happy because he just got the cloak. Uh, these hair pieces allow for the scar to show through, so which is that's a pretty cool design. Um, you can see coming down to his chest and torso, he's in his PJs, it's the white and blue striped one. See three buttons, it's unbuttoned at the collar. Uh, coming down to his legs, his feet do show, it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, he does have feet shown, so he's barefoot which is a cool design or a cool touch which I don't think Lego's done this before either no printing on the sides except for the feet same as this side and then to the back is just the back of his outfit and the feet are showing through the back side as well again these are non bendable legs and now we'll put the cloak on him so how you do this one is you want to do the center one first and then you'll do the two side ones Let's get them all on get his head on and there we go full 360 coverage except for the head and there you go he's in his invisibility cloak and then again if you want to you can flip it over and put the other side showing as well but a cool design I love that cloak um, I like the feet too, the dual mold or the um, printing design to him but that's Harry and his PJs so another new minifig Get on to the next one. Uh, this one is from last time. This is one of the Fantastic Beasts characters. And her name is... Um, Tina Goldstein or Stein. She's right there. Got her last time. Comes with a hot dog and a wand. Get to this one. Uh, this one I got last time as well. This is another Fantastic Beasts character. This one is uh, Newt. Uh, uh, is it Salamander? I think it is. But this is Newt. Got him. He's right there. Two more packs. Let's hope for two new minifigs at least. Uh, I got the man. You're not supposed to say his name, but I will. I got him last time. It's Voldemort. Comes with a snake, white wand. He's right there. And finally, the last pack. Which, please be new. I don't know if it is. It doesn't look like it. Nope, it's another Professor Flintwick. Dang. But that's okay. I got five new minifigs. I got uh, Professor Moody, 
uh, Neville, Thomas, I think it's D Dean Thomas, um, uh, Malfoy, and the Harry Potter and PJs with the awesome cloak. Uh, still got a more to go, so I think I have what, let's see, see who I need left. So I got Harry, I got Hermione, don't have Ron yet. Got Malfoy, don't have her, forgot her name. Got Neville, I have her, have Dean, have Voldemort, don't have Dobby yet. I don't have this professor, I don't have him. I got Flintwick, I got Moody, Harry, don't have Dumbledore yet. So that's all the Harry Potter ones, I believe. And then on the other side is the Fantastic Beasts. So I have Newt, I have her, don't have these two, don't have him, and I do have uh, one of the rare figures in the series, which I got last time. So, not too bad, five out of, well, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eh, could have been better, but again, five new minifigs is still good. Uh, be sure to like the video if you haven't already liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and as always, thanks for watching.